on the trail radio here showing you a brand new radio that I just got and that new radio is right there the Baofeng BFR3 it is the new tri-band radio from Baofeng and I'm gonna go through open up the box and show you everything that was in the box in typical Chinese style the box was crumbled weird looking and everything else like that um, from what the features on the box say long communication range it's the same as any other 5 watt radio noise reduction circuit it's going to be our squelch battery save we already have been through that ct css and dcs those are the tones that help us connect to repeaters a scrambler option I'm uh, interested to see what they consider the scrambling option. The high capacity lithium ion battery. That means it's going to be the 38 uh, milliamp hour battery instead of the smaller one. FM radio, all bow things come with them. And long standby time. As any other radio, the less you transmit, the more battery you get. Go ahead and open this up. And we can see the poorly packaged Chinese radio. But man, even though it looks like any other UV5 series, it's not a UV5 series. It's a BFR3. We're going to turn it on soon and go through all the little features that it has here shortly. We're going to go ahead and pull this out and go step by step over here on the table. The first thing that you will receive is the Baofeng BFR3 radio. You will receive these cheap Baofeng earbuds and microphone. You will receive the cheap plastic case that the radio came in that says UV6R so we know that it wasn't shipped in what it was originally supposed to be. A 3800 milliamp hour battery. One of the big ones that you may have seen on my UV5R. A user manual that I'm sure is almost the exact same as the UV5R. Have not read it, but I'm sure it is written in poor English. I will actually read through it because I do not like sitting here being angry at why I can't figure something out whenever I haven't just read the user manual. Your standard Baofeng belt clip that you attach to the back of all Baofeng radios. You will receive two antennas, both little rubber duckies, one of which will be the dual band, very high frequency and ultra high frequency antenna, and the other of which will be the single band 220 megahertz 1.25 meter antenna. Your standard Baofeng wrist strap, your standard Baofeng charger, for your base and your standard Baofeng charger base. Same thing that any other Baofeng chargers hook up to. You just set the radio in here and it works. Here is all the pieces laid out. Now, I know you all are not idiots, but for those who are idiots, I will go ahead and put this together for you. You take the radio itself next to the battery and you place the radio on top of the battery like so. To place the belt clip on the radio you remove the two back screws put them inside of here on top of the radio and you will have a belt clip on your radio. You do it like so. Now I have a belt clip on the radio. The wrist strap feeds in to itself on the side near this little piece of metal over here. And you attach it like so. 
to attach on one of the antennas, let's say the dual band VHF UHF antenna, you simply put the SMA connector on the radio and twist until it is on. And there you go, that's how you do it. I also have my other antenna here in case I want to swap it out. But there you go, this is the BFR3. I'm going to actually open it up and test it out and see if there's any weird caveats to this radio that's not in any other Baofeng. Other than that, let's... Oh. Like any other YouTuber who does radio crap for all of you radio files, you always like seeing this. No, I was just kidding. That was just a reference to one of the big YouTubers. So when you start up the radio, you're going to get the general Baofeng welcome screen. Channel mode. And it's going to come preloaded with channels that I'm actually just now seeing. So whenever you do, scan them. Scanning beacon. It appears it only has 22 pre-made channels, some of which do not even fall within the amateur band. So you have to ensure that you program it on your own and delete some of these channels. Other than that, it is your standard Baofeng radio. Whenever you hit this, you get FM radio. If you hold monitor, it monitors. And if you press the PTT, you're going to transmit. Other than that, it has your same general Baofeng programming cable right here that goes to it. It is not sold along with this unit, by the way. You do have to actually go and grab it yourself or order it off of Amazon. And just so you're aware, it does come with the same type of factory set as if you unlocked the UV5R. It is able to transmit outside those bands, so you do have to be wary that you don't transmit outside the preset bands that it is intended for. And nobody here would ever want to break the FCC's rules and regulations. If we go to VFO slash frequency mode, you'll see the very first reason why we bought this radio in the first place. This is a tri-band radio. We have the very high frequency. We have another part of the very high frequency range, but this one is in the 200 megahertz range. And then we have the ultra high frequency range. Um, I mean, that's the whole reason we bought the radio, right? So we could talk not only on 70 centimeter and, you know, 2 meter, but 1.25 meter. Um, as far as I'm able to tell, it does connect two repeaters just fine. Um, everything else I'll have to hack out and actually um, update as I go along with this radio. This is the first time I'm using this one. Uh, I'm sure it's the same as any other Baofeng radio. But at the end of the day, I'm still learning uh, 1.25 meter. So thank you all for watching. This has been the little unboxing and show off and showcase of the Baofeng BFR3.